Goody, goody, goody. Things look like they are actually working properly and in the way I've normally been doing it for over the last year or two. Using my BeLive, yay, on Google Chrome, yay, even better. <laughs> Looks like it's working. So good morning, Kat. Beautiful rainbows as part of your comment. Thank you and congratulations in moving into your new house. <laughs> Wonderful photos to share. Thank you. And Kim, wonderful to see you here this morning as well. Good morning. I was almost a little late because I got a bit distracted. I was catching up on my iPad, as in monitoring, while I was waiting for it to roll around to 8 o'clock. Yeah, and <laughs> caught a funny one. <laughs> Peter, you're a laugh. You're a hoot. <laughs> I love it. Um, here we go. Judy, good morning to you as well. Now we're here for our regular daily Lenham and card spreads. So I'm going to switch it over so you can see the spreads. Tune into your psychic senses, your intuition, gut feelings, whichever way you want to do it. Um, just so that you're connecting in with your spiritual connections and able to receive those messages you're getting. You know, spending a little bit of time with that inner self uh, just to see what guidance there is with the cards today. And here we go. Oh, I thought I'd straightened it. I did, true. <laughs> it was perfectly straight. <laughs> I must have bumped it with something. Um, it is a little bright from outside, but we can see the cards mostly, except for this little sucker. We've got the owl card this morning. I'm back to being able to show them. Health is the greatest gift. Content must, oh gosh. Um, it was a while since I've woken up. <laughs> I've had time to get my tongue tied. Health is the greatest gift. Contentment, the greatest wealth, faithfulness, the best relationship. And that is a Buddhist teaching from what the, um, uh, the recognition is there, Buddhist teaching. I'm trying to think of the word for that. What's it called? Not, not, it's not acknowledgement, it's, uh, yep, <laughs> when you do live streaming and things like that, you, you do have to um, acknowledge those things that you borrow from others that you're using. Uh, it's called Common Licence, but I can't remember the name of it now. And from the Inner Soul Guidance Oracle deck, we've got the snake. It is shedding your skin, prepare to heal and transform. You are always evolving, which is very appropriate because uh, prepare to heal and transform is very much something that I'll be doing today. I've got my appointment for a hand specialist to see if I can get my wrist fixed. Now, oh, not wrist. Well, it is sort of. It's on the wrist to get the thumb fixed so that I can move the tip. Anyway, small thing, isn't it? <laughs> but makes a big difference when you can't use something that you normally do so this is where having that snake as part of the journey uh, you know shedding the skin is appropriate especially on top of you know that our card health is the greatest gift um i i have the gilded bravery lenneman deck as per usual as well too so that's another um tool that we're using and it includes the whip birch broom in our home space appropriate for having the birch broom cleaning time um the clouds in our home space sun in the unexpected we've got the letter in our role and the dog waiting there patiently in the outcome a lovely set of cards this morning because i thought yep once the work's done let's go and play and reach for the stars Beautiful little sentence there in that central mode. So in our home space, I'm really enjoying seeing the dolphin cloth underneath this instead of just the plain purple. Um, it just really does bring forward that connection of what is deep into the oceans through to the earth and then out into the cosmos. Uh, the hugeness of where we live as our earth as the galaxies as 
is this a reality? Um, sometimes you wonder if it is when things seem to go a little haywire. Uh, you need to sort of almost use a bit of a whip thing to crack back into direction, into action, what your goal actually is. I think with this, there is a bit of a clean up going to happen in the day to day. It's getting things done. It is a bit of a work card. So in your home space, if your physical setup needs a bit of cleaning, get in and do it. Know that then you've done it and uh, you know kick yourself in the pants if you need to get off the bum to do it and uh, have that uh, bit of oomph behind it but know that it doesn't actually take long to keep things trim talk trim and uh, clean you know tizzied up to be able to do that it feels to me like you know it's not that much effort it really is just you know pick up a duster occasionally and do it uh, which I hardly ever do, I might add. <laughs> I like the dust to settle and, and protect what it's sitting on. That's my excuse. But we are getting that message, I feel, that we're, it is time. It's time to dust off. It's time to clean up. It's time to get things done. So uh, even if you don't finish it straight away, it's that process of getting the action happening. And that's also within relationships as well. If you know that there's something that's not quite right in a relationship, it needs to be dealt with. Uh, communication. There we go. Um, working in the workspace, um, the stars, what's the focus? So many different things to do. Look at the one that really is in that priority list, uh, the focus that you're needing to put it into today. So that you are concentrating on that mostly, that that's going to be what you get done. It, it feels like there is a prominent what's standing out for you to have that happen. And I just realised I haven't been looking at the comments um, because I've got stuff covering them. But that's all right because uh, I just saw shares. Good morning. Yours popped in there and I thought, I don't know when it did. Um, obviously early and I'm still talking which is fine because that's part and parcel of where our focus goes. Sometimes it can get a little distracted from what's around it, those other little sparklies, uh, you know, the fairy dust that tends to float around, the internet rabbit holes, <laughs> Facebook, all that sort of stuff, like I almost got distracted earlier. So it certainly is putting that focus on the one task at a time as much as you can through the day in your workspace. So it really does reinforce. I think there is a little bit of work that's needing to be done today. So, you know, cleaning up around the house and that type of stuff and also focusing on the one thing at a time in our workspace. Okay. Good morning, Rena. Lovely to see you here this morning too. I love the familiar faces. It's beautiful. Beautiful to see you. So, and the sunshine is going to be the unexpected. There are going to be those moments where we'll have that beautiful, warm, strong energy present in whatever it is we're doing. So whether it is at the home space or whether it's at the workspace or just in those in-between times, that's what the unexpected does. Go outside and take a break in the sunshine. At the moment, I've got a little bit poking through what looks like grey clouds here. So we're getting that taste of spring coming through because there's certainly some of the bulbs starting to flower, uh, the trees starting to blossom, and it's got that crispness in the air of what is preparing for spring because if we know that that's where we get the frosts and stuff soon, um, not just the rains, cold, miserable weather, it's going to be those beautiful days interspersed. Already we've had a few. So Bring that energy of the sunshine into your day today. It will be present in those moments that it's most needed. So take advantage of that when you can. Okay. Also, as our role, it is the written communication. It's things that we're needing to follow up with. The it feels a little bit more on the formal side. So there could be some of some agreements. I'm trying to think because I know for myself, I know I've got to chase up a referral to a doctor because um, I'm not sure if it was done and I'm thinking I don't want to get to the other end and have them ask well where's your referral from your GP and I think uh, oh was I meant to have one because uh, yeah you know someone might not have said so to me I don't know <laughs> so there's something that I know 
for the factor of the cards placing themselves there that I do actually need to chase up this morning. So is there something similar for you that you're needing to chase up that's along that style of formal written letter type of thing? So oops, I added an extra S this morning. Sorry, Ros. Oh, look, that's fine, Kim. Um, yes. <laughs> Apology accepted. It is one of those things that, uh, you know, because my name is spelled R-O-S-L-Y-N. It's not got the double S. And sometimes when it's short, and there's many people who've mistaken that that, oh, God, my hair's in the way, that that is a man's name, as in the Ross. And I thought, well, I might feel sometimes that I'm a bit on the... Um, uh, tomboy masculine side at times because we do have to stand up for ourselves at times it's just a masculine energy that flows through and we are the masculine feminine we are the feminine masculine doesn't matter which way you think of it we uh, we're a balance of that and <laughs> it's interesting to have that reminder at times when I do see it spelt that way so no problems Kim um, remember all life is a balance of some form or another and we see that even with the earth and the world we live in so yes <laughs> I do sign my name ROS because I like the shortening and that's fine we all choose how we word uh, how we communicate with the words we use we all choose how we spell we are taught particular ways of how our English language demands we spell and etc. But it is absolutely irrelevant if we are not understanding each other. And that's the importance of communication, whether it's written or whether it's spoken, being understood. And I think in this sense of that it's written, yes, I do proofreading and the rest and I'm, I'm reasonably good with grammar and the rest. I do pick up errors and mistakes and the rest, but it's not important so long as we're actually understanding ourselves. And even when you get to the point of things that are actually for uh, the lawyers to fight over, blah, 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 um, everything could be absolutely tickety-boo, watertight and everything, and they can still find errors and ways around it. So just bring to your forward senses being understood is the purpose of why we write and communicate having it as clear and as easily understood as it can be so that there isn't any doubt about what you're saying and confirm it, reconfirm it, reaffirm it with others. You know, you get feedback, ask, do you understand that? You know, it's that type of thing that I think is our role in our day to day, just for self as well, that we're understanding now what is our task around the home space? What are we meant to be focusing on in our workspace? And, uh, you know, in whatever what what we do, are we being understood is what the letter feels to me to be indicating for today. And then once that's done, look at this. We've got the dog there sitting patiently waiting for that time where there can be that release of responsibility and just play. Spending time with a loved one and it can be our fur babies. It can be other people who we're going for a walk with or playing with or doing what we need to rest, relax, rejuvenate. So bring that outcome to the end of your day and take your dog for a walk. If you can't do that, play with them inside, in your yard or whatever, if you have a dog, of course, or a pet of some sort or a child or other people around and about. And if that really isn't in your capacity, uh, we've got technology like this where you can join together and just chat and rest, relax and do what you need to actually have that happen in your day to day. So that's where I'm feeling as far as our day with the cards. It really is a bit of work time, making sure that whatever it is we're doing through our day, we are understood and that others are able to uh, join in with our understanding but it's not just so that they can that we can feel like they're understanding my way it is to help each other to and to to grow and understand in each of our own individual understandings and ways that we need to move forward 
Um, that's why it really isn't about control and being the upper hand in any situation. It's understanding and guiding along what we need to be doing together jointly. And that certainly is relevant for so many different situations in life. Uh, observe, learn from them and grow, moving forward in what is actually your pathway and what you need to be doing to continue forward. So, oh, good morning, Sarah. Lovely to see you here. Um, I'm just finishing, so you might have to uh, um, either go back and watch the start to get how I've interpreted the cards or just have a look at them yourself and, uh, you know, freeze the frame later and just look at the cards yourself to see what interpretation, what understanding spirit's bringing for you in what the cards are. I just realised my glasses are crooked. Oh, life, isn't it just here to test us? <laughs> Not really. It's here to help us grow and sparkle, sparkle our light. That's the stars. So thank you for being here this morning. Hopefully tomorrow morning be here again around the 8 o'clock, closer to the 8 each time it's creeping back to being what is the normal. So I'm so thankful that I could actually set up and start everything this morning without hassle and uh, being able to share with you again in the way that we do. So keep moving forward to share out that I'm on daily for those who miss it uh, and you think this might be beneficial to have some guidance with cards. It is but one tool in a plethora of ways that we can actually uh, use to help understand ourselves and take those inner journeys. It's also the sharing and outer outer pathways we can share with too. So, um, if you do need any more detail, a more detailed uh, guidance with readings, um, have a look at my website and even the buy me a coffee. I do love my coffee, <laughs> as those who know me well <laughs> do know. So. Anyway, we'll continue onward with our day. Have a blessed day in whatever you do and uh, smile with that beautiful sunshine when it pops out or if you're already in that beautiful sunshine like Sarah, <laughs> that warmth. Um, continue in fullness and being the best you that you can be. Okay, so we'll catch you tomorrow and namaste till then.